Okay, we're doing page 149, problem number 9. A spherical balloon is inflated with gas at the rate of 20 cubic feet per minute. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing? At the instant, the radius is A1 foot and B2 feet. Okay, so um, let's look at what we're being told in the problem. Well, the first phrase says that the spherical balloon is inflated with gas at the rate of 20 cubic feet per minute. So the volume is increasing at the rate of 20 cubic feet per minute. All right, so that tells us that dv dt is equal to 20. All right, in the next phrase, we are asked how fast is the radius of the balloon increasing? So we want to know what dr dt is. At the instant, the radius is 1 foot, so when, when r is equal to 1. Okay, that's for part A. All right, so first we need some sort of equation that relates volume and radius, so that is given by the formula for the volume of a sphere. The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed and differentiate both sides to get an equation involving dv dt and dr dt. So dv dt is equal to 4 thirds pi 3 r squared dr dt. And we always differentiate with respect to time. In related rate problems, we always are assuming that the variables are changing with respect to time. All right, here let's um, simplify by dividing top and bottom by 3. So dv dt is equal to 4 thirds, sorry, 4 pi r squared dr dt. And now let's just substitute. dv dt is equal to 20 and let's substitute um, r is equal to 1 for part a. All right, let me scroll here a bit. Okay, so we have 20 is equal to 4 pi 1 squared dr dt. So just divide both sides by 4 pi and we have dr dt is equal to 20 divided by 4 pi. Reduce that, divide top and bottom by 4 and we have 5 over pi. And the units, well since r is a linear measurement, um, the units are feet per minute. Okay. So for part B, for part B we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to substitute in r equal 2. All right. Into the formula for dv dt which we have up here. Let's look at that right here. Right over here we have the formula for dv dt. Okay, so we're going to substitute in r equal 2 this time and we have substituting still 20 for the for dv dt is equal to 4 pi 2 squared dr dt. Okay, this is Four. All right, so we have dr dt times 16 pi is equal to 20. Let's divide both sides by 16 pi. And we have dr dt. All right, just um, reduce that, divide by 4, and we have 5 over 4 pi feet per minute.
So let's just compare. Let's let's compare. When when r is equal to one, we had dr dt was equal to five over pi feet per minute, and when r is equal to two, we had dr dt was five over four pi feet per minute. So this this is considerably smaller than the first value. So dr dt is slowing down. All right. So let's just look at the picture, and we can see why that makes sense. When the volume is increasing at a constant rate, the the rate of increase of the radius slows down. All right. So let's look at the balloon when it when it's small, when it's first being inflated. Here's a small balloon. All right. Let's say it's inflated. Let's say it, it increases. The radius increases by the increment shown. And the shaded area is the increase in volume. I'm drawing this in two dimensions, um, but you can sort of translate to three dimensions. Okay, now let's draw a, a bigger sphere at a later stage. And again, we're increasing by the same amount. And now the, the increase volume is given by the shaded area here. And you can see how much more volume is added in the second picture compared to the, the first picture. Um, this volume is much larger than this volume. Okay. So for that reason, initially, if the volume is increasing at, at a constant rate, then initially the balloon, the radius, is, is, is going to increase quickly. And later it's going to slow down because it's adding, uh, it'll be adding the same amount of volume um, for a smaller increment in the radius.